Hey y'all, this is Jennifer at Southern Junk Chic. I hope you're having a happy Tuesday. My Tuesday has gone pretty well so far. I always have, well, I'm doing a six weeks course in diabetes education as a trainer for a group of people who um, have diabetes and want to learn more about it. So that's, that's what I do on my Tuesday mornings. But I wanted to hop on here today. Hey, Barbara, you're back. What happened to you? Missed you. Um, today, what I want to teach you how to do is to make your own salt wash, sea spray, rusty crusty kind of finish that will, you can either clump it up like that or paint it on, <laughs> thank you, and get this just aged, crusty, can you see it? Is it focusing? Finish. And I'll show you how I did that. I don't think you can see this as well. It's This is still drying. I put it on super thick. So it's uh, just starting to, to crack up a little bit. But this is what I use to make um, a lot of my signs that I have Nashville written on. And I did them in the summer and painted them outside so the sun dried the paint and it added extra crackle and it looks so good. So I'm gonna get everything ready. So what I have used, what I'm gonna show you how to use today is, you know, I should have been from Texas because I don't buy anything small. Um, calcium carbonate, calcium carbonate, which is the same thing as limestone. And this is the brand I bought, and I bought it on Amazon. And I think it was $25, but I'll make it. And it's by uh, a seed supply because it's actually for your soil. And um, 15 pound bag. And the gosh, this has lasted me. I know I've had this for two years. So unless you use it a lot, <laughs> and it was organic and I, the only reason I bought that was in one of the reviews somebody put for it because I started looking I knew calcium carbonate could be added to latex paint to give it the chalky finish and so um, in some of the reviews for the brand and you know you look at all the Amazon reviews so anyway one of them said this is perfect and the organic was better because it was blended finer so when you're mixing it up it's not as chunky so I don't know if that's true because this is the only bag that I have bought I have tried this because it's a powder form and you can get it at Home Depot or Lowe's um, it's just water putty and you mix it's just powder mix it up and it's okay too but it gets rock hard so you have to work you know not super fast but you have like a, a window of um, I wouldn't go mix more than uh, 15 or 20 minutes worth and it's three parts powder to one part water but you can make it however you want your finish to be if it's too thick if you're wanting to paint it on like paint um, Then you can thin it out some but it does dry hard So you're gonna have to throw your brush away and your I mix mine in a solo cup because I just throw everything away Because it's so messy and I don't want it to go down my drain. So and Dixie Belle also has Sea spray sea spray is very similar, but it's much uh, more finer powder than the calcium carbonate and it's actually what I used on this board This is a sample I did at the Dixie Bell conference last year and So it doesn't crackle as much as the calcium carbonate But that may be because I didn't put it on as thick But there are lots of options out there plaster of Paris, but this is just what I have used for my signs so um, There's no as a scientist, I'm not using the scientific method, so I'm going to move you down and show you how I mix mine up. So, uh, you know, again, I do it in the solo cup, and I put my powder in first, and I just bought um, some measuring cups at a yard sale, and so I just put, you know, I'm going to use less than a half a cup because I already made some up to practice with. Whoops. 
So I already have um, some ready to go, but I'm just going to mix it up to show you guys. And it's messy, so you'll want to have a wet towel to wipe your hands with. I mean, messy is in if you get it on yourself. So I'm going to eyeball it and say this is, this is a half cup measure, so I'm going to do about half of it, so a fourth of a cup. But really what I just do is um, then just put paint and try to mix it a uh, one-to-one -one ratio with paint. And I have only used it with latex paint, and this is the paint that I like to use when I use latex paint. It's the Sherwin-Williams Super Paint because it has the primer mixed in. And this is Halcyon Green, which is the same, very same similar thing to um, Annie Sloan's Duck, Duck Eggs Blue. And I would just use a cheapy chip brush. I wouldn't use any of your fancy brushes because just throw it away. It's going to be too messy to clean and you don't want it going down your drain unless you're working outside. So this is, this is my scoop. If you have a scooper, you can probably use it. But this is what I scoop it with, is my paintbrush. Only because I don't have anything else here with me. So you can use a measuring cup if you have one. And it doesn't matter. It's really your preference. If you have it too thick, if you start um, putting it on your board or whatever it is you're painting and you see you have it too thick Then add some more paint and you can thin it down So I'm gonna lay my paintbrush on my lid. I'm gonna move this over here out of the way <coughs> And then I just use you can tell I'm all about disposal on this I do care about the environment, but for this and so you just mix it up and Try to get some of the the chunks. There'll be a few little chunks but try to mix it up as best as you can. And if you have a whisk, that works too if you have a, but you know, I don't wanna wash it with this stuff, so. So it's, you kinda want mm, a little bit thicker than cake batter. I do because I like the, the thick paint because that's the whole point in doing this, so. You can see how how a little bit thick it is. And you can see some chunks in there, but those are okay. So you want the big ones knocked out. So that is good enough for me. If you want it thinner, add more paint or add a little bit of water. Either one of those works. And so here is what I have already done so far. I don't know if you can tell the difference. This I put on really thick. And then this, I cleaned off my brush a little bit and put it on a thinner layer. So it's not focusing. So you're gonna get more um, texture when you put it on thicker. You're gonna get more crackles versus if you put it on thinner, but you're still gonna see the real heavy brush strokes. And I think that's what the chip brush does too. I hope you can see, but I like either one with the, the thinner layer of paint, you're going to get fine crackle and with the thicker paint, when it dries, this is still a little bit wet because I was trying to dry it with the blow dryer. You're going to get big islands of crackle. So here is, and there's no um, right or wrong way to put it on. It's however um, you want to do it. So I'm gonna get my same paintbrush that I scooped it out of the bucket with, and I just put it on the raw wood. I don't um, put any kind of paint primer on it because my paint comes with a primer, and I'm doing a sign. So, you know, it depends on what piece of wood or whatever you're, you're wanting to paint. So just, it kind of goes on thick and you can smear it on if I can zoom and then get you. So um, if you want it to be super thick, just take a glob on your paintbrush. And, okay, do like that, put it on the board and it can be super thick and you can just leave it like that to dry. I'm trying to get it on where it, 
or you can and then you can cover over it so you can make whatever um, brush strokes you want to show all right I think I'm gonna have to zoom it back out but you know it's really it's so simple it is so simple put it on as thick as you want but just know the thicker you paint on it the um, longer it'll take to dry but if you're not in any big hurry then let them dry outside it'll be really cool so you can just smush it on and then if you have lots of peaks that you don't want like here's a big chunk I usually take those chunks out because if you sand it it's gonna show and these are signs so it doesn't really matter but it'll show the powder color like just like with cake batter I don't know why my phone keeps saying rotate uh, so it's that simple and you know with your your chippy brush it just shows these thick heavy strokes so it looks like layers and layers of old paint and on the edges I like to do you know big thick globs and then just gently pull your brush over it so it gives you different types of texture and then I use this as the backdrop you know for my sign boards and then I stencil Nashville on top of it and they just look so fabulously old and it's something it's just the lightweight um, Luan board and but it's something light enough where people can sit it on a wall or hang on their wall and it's not a super heavy sign it's not like a big chunky piece of barn wood but it looks like it is because when it dries it's gonna look super thick like that don't forget to paint the edges because they'll show so you want to make sure you know that they match or you can go back over after it dries and just paint it with regular paint I only do this on the front of the boards I don't paint the back of the boards with um, the Nashville signs, mm -hmm. I do sell them. Yeah, I sell them in my antique booth. And they're really hot sellers. I'm, I sell them, I think this size one I sell for $10. And it has Nashville, Tennessee written on it. And then um, I have the, the bigger one that has like a postage postmark that I made into a stencil. So I stencil it on there. So you can just... Texturize it however you want. Put all those lumps and things like that. And as it um, dries, it'll settle back down some. And then when it completely dries, if I have too many chunks or I want to smooth it out some, then I just take a sanding sponge. Or if I want to um, distress it or something like that, I just take the sanding sponge and go on top of it and knock down any of the peaks and see if you get a real big chunk it's gonna do kind of like that but that's gonna look natural you know if you're going for the the crusty chippy look so I just love all of the crackle that it shows I mean it looks like an old piece of let me move you back up looks like an old piece of painted painted you know over and over again because it's so thick I hope y'all I'll take a picture I hope that you can see what it really looks like thank you Barb I'll get you one made you will love it but that was I just wanted to hop on and show that to you I use calcium carbonate which is limestone and this comes I bought the 15 pound bag because I didn't I was thinking in terms of you know what a sugar, bag of sugar looks like and that's about, if you can imagine that, that's if you get a 10 pound bag of sugar, this is like 15 pounds of calcium carbonate. And you know, get it on Amazon. I don't think I saw any at Lowe's or Home Depot, or if I did, I didn't realize that's what it was. But this was also organic because it's a little finer and it's by um, Seed Supply Company. But I mean, there's lots of brands out there, so just get whatever. And if you're this, if you just want a little bit, this was $2. So if you want to try this first, Durham's Water Putty. It's a um, it, the thing I did not like about it, and it's nothing. It's just aesthetics only. It was a vanilla, you know, like a manila folder color. So it's more um, beige yellow. Let me open it for you. 
but that was it. Otherwise, I got the same results, but, um, you know, it's quick, hard time, and when it dries, it doesn't look that different, but that's it. So it's fine powder, but it dries rock hard because it's wood putty. So that would be good on a piece of furniture that you're trying to fix something on because it will fill in any holes, but it will also um, give you some texture with the paint. And it says to mix it with water, but I mix it with paint, so I wouldn't have to worry about painting on top of it. But you do whatever you want, experiment, you know. Um, I mix my latex paint straight into the calcium carbonate, but if you want to mix it with water, I don't know if it would do the same with the calcium carbonate because it's not as thick as this wood putty uh, or the same purpose. But And then, of course, sea spray does the same thing, and you mix it two scoops to, um, well, let's see, and mix it in with your paint. So it does the same thing too. So that is a good option. Um, if I have some, if you want to buy any, but I bought this calcium carbonate bag two years ago. So I've had it and I want to use it. Not that it's super expensive because it was $25 for 15 pounds. And it's going to last you. You're going to have to pay a lot of furniture, a lot of signs to use all of that bag. So, and then I try not to mix up more than I need. That's why I use the solo cup. So I'm not, because it will harden up and it's just not, it doesn't keep well. You can put it in the fridge, the calcium carbonate and paint, but you know, it sets up and it just gets harder to paint with. So that's your Tuesday tip. Tuesday tip is use calcium carbonate to create your own rusty crusty chippy paint. Mix it with cheap old latex paint, whatever you get, you know, get a little sample size of paint, but just get the color that you want, whatever you want to paint your sign with. And I just happen to have some Halcyon Green Sherwin-Williams because um, I love Eddie Sloan's duck egg blue color. So that's what I, I found a long time ago, a list of Sherwin-Williams colors versus Annie Sloan's. And I think they had bare colors too. So um, I just would go get those mixed up because I'd rather have a gallon for $40 at Sherwin-Williams using my coupon. So enjoy. I hope you um, try making your own Rusty Krusty paint. I don't know how well Chalk Couture would do on this because it is textured, but I'm going to try it. So I will show you all that tomorrow because it's not a super flat surface. With Chalk, chalk Couture, they have the silk screen, so it needs to be a little flatter. But we'll see. I'm going to do a welcome sign. So anyway, I'm going to start doing your tips on Tuesday. So when you tune in on Tuesday, I'll try to give you a new tip of tip or technique, something that you can use. So thanks for watching, y'all. Have a happy Tuesday. Thanks, Barb. I'm glad you're back. See you tomorrow on my 30 days of life for October. Because I don't know if I can do it any more months. It's tough. <laughs> see y'all.